Hello, Red Brick Productions, here with another LEGO review. Today, I have a LEGO Minecraft set. It is the Big Fig Creeper in Ocelot. The set number is 21156. It has 184 pieces, and without further ado, let's take a look at the build. So for the first figure here, we have the Big Fig Creeper, and this is such a good figure to have as um, a Big Fig because it's so iconic. It's literally like one of the most iconic hostile mobs in Minecraft and it looks really good like you can see the front here looks great the face print looks great the feet look great but the back does not we're just gonna pretend the back doesn't exist here because that looks really bad I do not like the the how it's not tiled off or anything it's just there nothing because this is a beautiful front it's kind of like Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7, where um, he only did the front for a little bit, but never the back. But um, I do want to do a little bit of a size comparison. Here is a, a creeper, like a regular minifigure scale creeper. That looks pretty good. I mean, this definitely has more detail, but of course it's bigger, so it can have more detail. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's You can see how big this is, but... Let's compare it to, let's say, Alex. It's a little bit small. Usually creepers in the game are about the same size as players, maybe like a little bit shorter, but it's it's like a little bit, I mean, it's a little, it's it's small. That's all I can say. But um, yeah, I do wanna show you the articulation for this. Head 360 degrees. The legs move out like that and you can also get some pretty cool poses like one two one two and then there you go now you have the creeper walking or basically what this creeper looks like um yeah so yeah you can get that the head can rotate and um i do want to mention the lego official shop at home had the creeper's mouth like this I found that so funny because it was in the photo shoot of this set and they totally messed it up and they didn't know. I thought that was really funny. But um, these are two prints because Minecraft always has prints. So those are really nice prints to get. Um, I don't know what else to say other than it does have a play feature. So let's just say Alex is playing in Minecraft and she sees the creeper and she's successfully able to kill it without it exploding. Well, you lift up this little hinge here and out drops a little piece. And this little piece is a little pyramid piece in gray. It is the cone piece. Or the cone piece. It's a, oh, oi. This is a pyramid piece in gray and I keep dropping it. And it is gunpowder because creepers drop gunpowder in Minecraft. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And it's just such a simple little feature hidden away. You don't really see it and that's great. But I don't have much else to say about the Creeper. So let's move on to the next build. For the next build here, we have an Ocelot. This looks pretty cool. These two pieces are printed, which is always nice. And it looks really good. It looks like an Ocelot. The legs can be adjusted like this. Yeah, and the tail can move like that. Um, the head can is on a, a ratchet joint, a small ratchet joint, so you can move that. And it has a clip here for a fish, which is pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's holding it in its mouth, but it's fine. And now some of you who don't play Minecraft might be wondering, well, why is there an ocelot with a creeper? Well, in the game, that's creeper's really only weakness is they're terrified of ocelots. They really are. So it's kind of funny that they included um, an ocelot in this, but we're gonna, take out the creeper for a bit and compare it to an ocelot in minifigure scale. There's an ocelot in minifigure scale. Again, they look pretty similar. I think Lego does a really good job with these. And now we can compare it to a big fig. Here's Alex. Um, I would say the ocelot is a little big. <laughs> it's, it's fairly large for compared to the Alex and that is a little bit annoying. I wish they would have scaled the series two to the series one because 
Same with like the pig and the baby zombie big fig. They're a little bit big and a little bit s small for some of them. I just wish they would have kept the scale consistent, but it's completely fine because they both look really good and definitely are well done. And I love the big fig series because it's so cool. But now we can move on to the packaging and then my final verdict. The box is just the big fig box and it is funny that the creeper's running away from the ocelot. It has the series two right there. And on the back, it shows the articulation, a little bit of articulation there and just another picture of those two together. But now we can move on to the instructions. So for the instructions, they just have this small little instruction booklet that tells you obviously how to build the set. And at the very back, it shows the ocelot all built up. Lego Life ad, a little Big Fig ad, which I've done a review on the Big Fig Pig and Baby Zombie and a speed build of it. And then the some of the other um, 2020 sets. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then of course the piece count and the win. So yeah, that's really it for the instruction. For my final verdict, I really like the Big Fig series. I think it's great to get these iconic figures in a bigger scale than just minifigure scale. And the Creeper and Ocelot are a really good one. I also find it funny that um, for the other series, they had the pig, because if you didn't know, the Creeper was supposed to be a pig, but then it glitched out and it became a Creeper. So I find that funny that this was in series two as well, was a pig and a Creeper. I don't know, that was just, I thought that was clever. Maybe they did it on accident. Maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know. But back to the set. I really like it. I mean, I wish it was scaled to um, the other Series 1. But it doesn't really matter. Because if you buy these separately, they look good. They're a great display piece. If you want to set them on a desk or something. And they, they have a lot of articulation. And even the little play feature of the gunpowder in the head. That's really funny. And I love that. And... These are just really cool, and they're, for $15, I would say you get your value here. I mean, yeah, you definitely get your value. This would probably be 10 This would probably be, I, I could definitely see this being priced as $20. I'm glad it's not, because I don't know if I would pay $20 for this, but I can definitely pay 15 for this, because it's a really good price for this. But, um... If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about this set in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for some of my later videos coming out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.